All right, everyone. I'm here to give you my Breaking Bad review. Um, I really wanted, felt like making this video today, so that's exactly what I'm doing. So let's get right into it. This is Season 3, Episode 3. Um, it's called IFT. Um, and it came out on April 4th, 2010. All right, so the episode starts off um, at, like, this ball... Let me see this guy. Let me see if I can find his name real quick. Let me see if I can find... Um... Yeah, I don't know if there's his name. Um, I think his name's like... I forget his name, but he was just talking. Um, henceforth, one of this guy... That's like his best friend says he got him a present. He got him like a turtle. He puts his name on him. On the turtle. And then um, the, these two other guys that are somehow related to Tuco. I think we find out in this episode how exactly they're related to him. Um, it was all a trap. The other two guys hold him down. And cut his head off with a knife. And that was about it. Uh, but I really did think it was a good scene all this but they were saying stuff like not and this was, it was all in spanish which didn't bother me because they had the subtitles there anyways but um i just they were they were talking about some small talk but that was kind of the big thing that happened so then it cuts to the theme song and then it gets to the real world um mikey is calling gus and he tells him walter's still alive he just made it without an inch um and um he walter's getting the pizza off the roof about time with that um so then skylar's come home co comes home she's jamming out to old mcdonald had a farm because she has a uh, holly in the car with her um and she sees that walter's called there so she calls him tells him to leave says you woke into the house and walter says well this is my house too and he wants her to come in and so they can work stuff out so she does and she tells Scott Skylar tells them to leave. She threatens to uh, call the police. Um, and Scott Walter says, it's okay. I've lost. I've already lost my family. There's nothing else for me to lose. Um, and says she, she just wants to work things out. And she calls the police. They say they're going to be there soon. And then uh, Walter Jr. comes home. He's happy to see his dad because he hasn't seen his dad. And his dad makes a grilled cheese sandwich. He's acting all nice to his uh, son. Um, which I thought was cool. He's making, like, Skylar look like the bad guy, kind of. Even though, like, he's saying that he's not. But it seems like that's what it's looking like. So then, um, Jesse, um, Saul comes to Jesse's house and convinces, um, Jesse to get Walter, him and Walter back together so they can cook meth. And he'll help him survive, like, a bank loan and all that stuff for the house. So Jesse then calls someone. You're gonna find out what this is about later. Um... So, and then Skylar's talking to one of the officers, and pretty much they can't take Walter out because he already owns the house, and he hasn't put his hands on her in any way, but he says the, but he says the only way I can do that is if he's done some something really bad, but she doesn't come clean. Um, so, uh, yeah, that was about it for that. Um, so, then Hank... Um, I know I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. This I don't think this happened next, but Hank finds out he's going to be transferred to um, El Paso, Texas. Um, he's doing going to Texas, um, and he's going to be transferred there. Um, so that means I guess we're not going to see Hank much in the series anymore. I'm not really sure. Um, maybe he won't go because he looked he had this face that he didn't want to go. Um, and then um. That whole group that killed that guy come up. And, oh, actually, uh, let me... The other two guys that were somehow related to Tuco, I guess killed an old lady in a wheelchair because she went to climb up the wheelchair, but they stood in her way so she couldn't get through. And then they go to, like, this uh, capel, and Gus organizes a meeting to have the to have these guys show up. We te I haven't known their names yet, so... And they're wondering why they had him call off Walter or Eisenberg's death. Um, you know, the killing. And he says, I still need Eisenberg, Walter. Um, and one, but then he says, once I don't need him anymore, um, you can, um, 
kill them once I'm done with them. And, uh... But, but they go by the Lido and the and we find out the odd Tuco's cousins by the way and they want they just want to get revenge on Tuco you can't really j blame them for that so uh, they have like a private conversation him and the Lido and they say that uh after um he's done with uh, Walter then he can kill him after he's done everything he needs to do so this guy's like sort of like a villain and uh, he gets in his face and says uh, I hope you uh you get, you get finished with them quickly because my men aren't going to be able to wait and then you won't be able to make the money you need. So I thought that was a great scene. Um, it was all in Spanish, too. So I wonder how they're going to talk to Walter when they meet him. Um, I can't wait to see that. I don't know if it's going to be at the end of the season or what, but this is really, this is like one of the best puzzles that's been going on in the show right now. Not that the other stuff hasn't been good. It's just this post has been one of the, been the best posts. So then Hank and uh, Gomez have had a, uh, that ball where they killed, well, those other guys killed that guy um, with the, that, gave, that he gave the turtle to and they feel like there's a suspicious items. And they say there's nothing really much that goes on around here. But um, Hank says, well, you just have to keep on the lookout. So then uh, Hank sees these two suspicious guys. And I'm just going to say this now. Later on, he... Lies, says he has to take a piss and goes back in and beats up these guys because they kind of attacked him. Um, and he says that he and the, he says he's part of the DAA and I guess he arrested him. And Gomez um, told him um, everything that happened. The only thing he didn't tell him was that Hank left his gun in the car under the seat. Um, and then Jesse is still coping over his girlfriend. Um, Jane, that's dead now. She, he keeps calling her number, and it keeps going to voicemail. Uh, he's like, if you're selling me something, don't call me back. But if you're cool, I'll leave a message. And then he keeps calling it so many times. Finally, he calls it once. And it just cuts out, and then the number's been and so, the number's been canceled. So Jesse's still having trouble dealing with that, which I like that they are going back to that because it makes sense why he would. So um. Walter is allowed to stay at home, obviously, because he still owns the house. Um, and uh, Skylar doesn't happy about this. And Walter tells Skylar that he doesn't want to be thrown out of this family. He shows her all the money that he's made cooking meth. And and Skylar do tells like the, the her lawyer about Walter cooking meth, and she doesn't want to go to the police about it because her son will hate him um, and wonder why. And um, he thinks the, and he has cancer, so he's gonna die soon. So we think about this problem would just go away on its own. Um, which I guess I can understand. Um, and then, uh, Skylar, um, yeah, but Walter says, yeah, um, he's made a lot of sacrifices. He's had to do things he doesn't want to do, but it was all for the family to put a roof over their head to get to help them, both, both of them through college, help, well, help the family, help the house pretty much. And he says, don't make this all, this for nothing. And he, she said she wants an answer when he gets home. So then back at, um... So then Skylar kisses Ted at work, um, which was really cool, I guess. So then when um, she comes home, she tells Scott, Walter pretty much that she chooses Ted. Um, and then Skylar, Walter's all depressed. And that really was how the episode ended. Um, I like this episode. Not really, I didn't really talk about it a lot because there was stuff to talk about, but it was kind of like quick stuff. Um, it was really good stuff, though. I really enjoyed this episode. Um, I like the stuff with um, Gus and those in that meeting. Um, that's going to really set up some stuff. I like the stuff with Walter and Skylar. I like the stuff with Jesse. And I like the stuff with Hank. Everything was pretty solid on this episode. I really enjoyed it. So that's my thoughts. Um, if you want to leave your thoughts, leave them in the comments down below. And I'll respond to them as soon as I can. Just don't leave any comments past this episode because you haven't seen it yet and uh i'm gonna watch the next one but i gotta read something for school um so i don't know when i watch the next one